Hi, welcome back to Daily Planet. I'm Melissa Grillo in for Zaya today. And I'm Dan Riskin. We've got all kinds of eye-catching, crazy science for you in the next half hour or so. But first, if you've ever been looking for that fountain of youth, you need look no further. Now, this won't actually help you look any younger, and it also won't help with aches and pains, but it will make your mind younger. Okay, it is called the NeuroTracker, and it's designed to make your mind faster and calmer under pressure. This is an Olympic gold medal speed skater. I see myself on the Sochi podium almost every day when I wake up and uh, when I go to bed. It's part of the process. This retiree, a fearless driver. I don't mind driving on that busy street anymore. I don't care at all. Both are on the road to the same goal, a better brain. And they're doing it with NeuroTracker. Anybody who uses their brain in their daily life can get something out of NeuroTracker. Okay, here we go. Attention training is how the NeuroTracker team plans to make people's minds sharper. This is it, I've got you this time. Sure you do. The task involves the entire visual field. You have multiple objects that you need to keep track of amongst a lot of distractors. Consistently pushing the brain against itself, it's always asked to do better of itself. I'm, I'm waiting for the end be here. by an old man. The game helps the brain build new pathways. The goal is to follow the four orange balls. And it's very important that you remember which four were orange because they start moving and bouncing each, off each other and the walls of the cube. Now that they've all turned the same, we identify them with numbers. The user would call out the numbers for the four balls. And if they get it right, we'll speed it up. There you go. Oh, four, three out of four. I nice tell you. Okay, so we'll start with the In the beginning, seconds. Olivier was a bit freaked out by it. First time I went in, they showed me how it worked and how fast it could go, and I thought it was a joke. It would be impossible to do. Three, four, one, seven. Okay, let's try it a little faster. And now I'm doing training at that speed, and it's totally normal, and I, I don't feel any limitation. Really impressive how, how much improvement, and yeah, like I said, I thought it would be impossible. Now, it's as important to him as skate practice. I always fail at some point or at moment in the optimal mental zone where things are slowing down around you, you feel relaxed, like full of energy. You're really having like a perfect performance, uh, that zone. Since I've started to work with neural tracking, I, I still feel the same, like that zone, but now it's uh, way more often. We're gonna slow it down, okay. Each user is unique and starts at a different level. In this case, Marie-Lise is way slower than Olivier. But everyone has one thing in common. They all improve by playing. Well, for the aging population, we're conducting now a study with the Quebec Driving Authority where we're testing our trained elderly people on how well they can detect driving situations. And we're seeing at this stage early tremendous improvement. A 70-year-old trained can achieve the same levels of cognitive ability as a 20-year-old who's not trained. So the ability to rejuvenate and to regain uh, your capabilities or reduce the risk of losing it through natural aging is a primary benefit. Five, seven, six, eight. How did you feel the first time you, uh, you did the NeuroTracker test? I feel funny. I really felt funny. They're asking me at my age to play with balls. The second time, I realized more that it wasn't a game. It was something serious. And that I was learning something out of it. I feel really more confidence whether I'm driving or walking. 6358, got it. This kind of brain training is a fountain of youth for the mind. It really puts them in touch with the globality of everything around them. And at the same time allows them a much quicker response to that information. Eight seven five four. Turns out it's also the ultimate lie detector. Two one seven eight. The testing is very accurate. Now we see normal fluctuations which correspond to how the person may be in their daily life. So if someone comes in after a night of partying, their no tracker scores are going to be down. Same thing for an athlete who's just had a game the night before and is tired and comes in, their scores are a little bit below where they are. Now, the reason that's very interesting is for someone who suffers a concussion or who has an injury, we can see if they're at the level where they should be before they go back to play. For these researchers, the brain has no limits, Ooh. and youth really is just a state of mind. In the past 50 years, we've realized that the brain is continuously forming new pathways. 
I should really be spending more time in the lab. The neurotracker takes advantage of that by always pushing the brain to go beyond its current abilities. Five, seven, six, seven. It's like training a muscle. When you train a muscle, it builds more muscle. So the same thing in the brain, we're creating new networks that are a lot more efficient than the ones that are already in place. All right, that thing is amazing.